Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect, 144,000 and one third men, women, children, and order. This is Shamar Allah with the Great Millstone chapter out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, Spirit jumped on me today to uh, speak on um, the things that have been happening in the last month or two. Um, to say the least, it's been very, very, very prophetic. And uh, today, my wife, uh, before I went to work, she had uh, told me that she had a, a, a dream last night that we got beamed up in the chariots. Um, the way she uh, told it to me, she said that we were driving in the cars like a line and uh, we were waiting to uh, get beamed up. And um, as we... Uh, we got there, we, uh, we, they beamed us up, and then um, she said my daughter woke her up, and then she said it went white because my daughter had <laughs> woke her up uh, at that point. But because um, I asked her, I said, we got beamed up, what did she see? And she said that, you know, before, you know, once, once she got beamed, once we got beamed up, it like, it went, it went white, pure white. So um, th that kind of gave me the inspiration to kind of bring it out. Also, the spirit's been on me too heavy. To uh, talk about, you know, the chariots in that sense. I mean, uh, again, uh, these last uh, few months has been uh, very prophetic in the things that have been happening um, around the world, along with, uh, hell, uh, with, with, with so many sightings of, uh, we call it identified flying objects. You know, we know them as the chariots. The, the scriptures speak about it, you know. Um, and it's definitely getting these people uh, riled up. Uh, there was a situation in New Jersey, but it came out to be a blimp, and you could tell it's a blimp. But we understand that, hey, these chariots have been popping up all over the place. So, you know, we, we wouldn't put it past the Lord to uh, reveal to reveal that. But um, let me grab these scriptures really quick. Um, this is... Uh, So lucky. Yeah. Yep. I'll start with this one. This is Acts 2, verse 17. It reads, it says, And it shall come to pass in the last day, said the Lord Yahweh, Slaki, said, Our power, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall pro prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And so, Right now, a lot of people are seeing, having visions, they're, they're having dreams, and they're, you know, uh, the Lord is putting it upon the mindset of the people to really, you know, that's that's why you see it, uh, that's why you see it, still like being spacey, but uh, just popped in my mind, um, that's why you see it, uh, see a lot of these commercials and the, and these movies now of a lot of um, things that are, uh, uh, th that, that they they get from the Bible, you know, a lot of the things they're getting from the Bible, but the Lord is putting on their spirit to push, to push these images and, 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 and these, uh, these ideas out to the world, you know, it's kind of like a pre, it's like a prep almost, you know, like he's showing you, he's showing us, you know, he's putting it in our faces. And so again, you know, people are having dreams, they're having visions and they're seeing things and they're, you know, they're having, um, all type of stuff happening to them, you know, as far as the visions, they might be standing there and they might get a vision out of the blue, you know, um, just like my wife with, with the, with the dream that she had, um, it just, it, it was a, it was a faith booster, uh, in so many ways for me, because, you know, Hey, we, we pray that we are part of the hopeful leg and we say that with so much humility and, and, you know, um, sincerity you know but um at the end of the day you know hey it's, it's it's the lord's will be done you know so hey we hope that's something we hope for all right so here's a a, a few accounts in the scriptures that uh speak about a uh, prophecy of uh the chariots as the so-called uh ufos um depicted as clouds and uh chariots in 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 the scriptures but uh this is account um, in Zechariah 5 verse 2 it says And he said unto me What seest thou 
And I answer, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits. And the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. This is a vision that he had, you know. And it says, then, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. And everyone that sh sweareth shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. So these uh these uh chariots that are uh that are popping up everywhere across the world um <clears throat> to, to most of you know uh the world is known as ufos but we know don't know them to be as chariots these chariots that are uh popping up all over the world is a curse to the heathen two-thirds and especially esau edom um and that and, that, and that's a, a another indication that hey your 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 rulership is done with, you know, for for the elites uh, of uh, uh, Edom that run that run the world right now, and the rest of these uh, heathen nations that are uh, in cahoots and are confederate with them. Um, this is Second Kings two and eleven. This deals with Elijah and uh, the time when he was taken up, and then this in the right now in, in this scripture is depicted as a cloud. Now, this is, uh, again, this is 2 Kings 2.11, and it reads, it says, And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked that, so like, and talked that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into, into heaven. And, uh, you know, th them not knowing what they're looking at, again, you know, is it's being described in this is the best way it's being being possible but matter of fact i still like you i take that back um they knew then now with the description that they have you know because horses as far as we understand means power you know um like you know like horses like strength like so like so like horses of fire you know that just depict the power that's in the um that's that the chariots uh gave off. And it said again it says, and a part of them asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. So I read on it says, and Elisha, who was standing there watching, it says, Elisha saw it and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel. And the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he looked hold of his own clothes and rent them into pieces. So you got to think about that account. That was a very powerful account that um, that, that, that occurred and that uh, Alicia witnessed, you know. And uh, that's another that's another indication of, uh, you know, these so-called UFOs uh, being brought up in the Bible because yeah, think about it. You've been taken up. It's like, hey, we watch Star Trek and all these 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 new so-called new uh, space age sci-fi uh, shows, and we've seen people get beamed up. Um, they even had someone get beamed up and uh, brought down in, in uh, the Marvel comics. You know, so you know these visions and these thoughts and these ideas are being put on these people's mind to 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 display and to and to bring out that image for the people to see that because these are actual things that are that that will ha that are happening and will happen that have already happened that will happen and it's being prophesied to happen and what we long wait on to uh to 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 be uh saved from the destruction that is coming to uh Babylon and across the world all right and this is the account dealing with Yahweh Shai, with uh, with the, when the apostles saw him uh when they when when he had uh Salaki when he um ascended into the clouds which he ascended into a chariot. This is Acts uh, one verse nine and it reads it says and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in a in white apparel. 
And this is the prophecy that, that's, that, that's coming. So we know, and see, that's another thing too, before I read this, we know that Yahweh Shai is coming back on, 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 on that, on that, on that fathership, you know, to save the elect, you know? So all, all, all these, uh, these false prophets and these, these, these false messiahs that are out here, we understand, hey man, we know, we know how the Lord is coming back. And this is, this is, this is a secret that's only shown to the elect. And so uh, the hopeful elect, Salakia. And Lord willing, um, I am in the brotherhood and all of us that are in this thing are, 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 are part of that, 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 that fold. So it reads again, this is Acts 1 and 11 and reads, it says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahawashai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So, hey amen. Long story short, these, these chariots that are showing up are a sign of our redemption. It's a curse unto the heathen two thirds and the and, and especially Esau Edom. And so, hey amen. It's a time to rejoice. You know, times will get rough. Stay focused and uh, keep your head to the sky, as the saying goes, man. And until next time, I want to say shalom. The miles to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace and citation to the hopeful elect. A hey, uh. Before I even say that, I want to say first, I, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, first and foremost, Salakia. Peace, I taste the hopeful, let 144,000. Um, the lines to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, who rule well and has taught us this truth and, and done, the, done a wonderful job of guiding um, the church. It's next time, this is Allah, and uh, Shalom.